When you're formatting in Excel, a great way to make something stand out, make it look important, or really be able to communicate your content is through visuals like borders as well as shading. So if we look at the difference between this top data set and the one below, you can see that the top one is a lot easier to read. So you can see here how I have some shading behind row three, but I don't have it behind row 12. So it makes it a little bit harder to really understand it and possibly read it. And you can see also I have a border that separates out all my content and all of my calculations that are going to be down below and you can see I don't have that here. So let's go ahead and see how we can apply them. Now all of my options for formatting these are going to live up here inside of my font group. You can see right there and if you hover your mouse over you can see here's my options for my fill color and you can see over here is going to be my options for my border. Now, if you click on this little drop down for your borders, you're going to see that there's quite a bit going on here in terms of the direction, the thickness, the design, etc. So what we're going to do now is now apply some of the shading over here onto row 12. So just like a lot of my content, I have to select it to affect it, first of all. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to here to the drop down next to my little paint bucket. And you'll see I have every color you could think of. And you can see here, I can just very easily hover my mouse over it. And you can see how I'm getting a preview of it. So I click on this little light orange color and boom, I have that there. Now, if I click on my drop down one more time, you'll see I have the option to get even more colors if I want to. So if you know your RGB value or your hexadecimal code value, you can very easily put that in just the same. So I'm going to go ahead and click on cancel and I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go ahead and scroll down and let's do the same thing with these guys and try to match right up above more or less. So I'll go ahead and keep it all the same color and let's go ahead and maybe just do like kind of a light gray color. I like that. So it's going to make that stand out. Now with our borders, I want to make it so I'm going to have a bottom border below all of my content that's going to separate all my calculations. So let's go ahead and just highlight everything right there. And you're going to see now when I go to my drop down underneath borders, you're going to see how I have bottom border, which is really nice. But I actually really like to do a thick bottom border to really make that stand out. Now, when I click on that, it's a little bit difficult to see until I click away. So when you click away, now I'm able to see that thick bottom border is now available. Very nice. Let's go ahead and do another one on the right hand side of this data here. So I want to make that to the right of quarter four. And this time I'm going to do a right border. You can see that very nice and easy. I can do that. Beautiful. And I have that there. Now, if you wanted to get even more fancy, you could go into more borders. So let's go ahead and say I want to separate out some from average. And I'm going to do that maybe in a different color and a different design altogether. And I want to make that so it's going to be below some. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to here to this little kind of dimple icon right there to get to all my font settings. And you're going to notice how I have this tab called border up on top. And this is going to give me a lot more specific control over where I want to put my border as well as the different style of the border. So I like to think about this as sort of like a canvas and then my mouse is sort of like a paintbrush and these guys as sort of the paint. So if I want to make it so I have underneath what I have selected where I have let's just say maybe a dashed line something like that I'll go ahead and choose that one I can now apply it to the lower part of my selection and that's really nice. But you know what I actually wouldn't mind making that a different color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to here to the left side. Again I like to think about this as like my paint and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose maybe a nice green color. I'll do this kind of bright green color and now apply it one more time and now that's going to be a green dash which I really really like. Okay but also note they do have some presets for you in terms of where you want the borders maybe to be top left and right maybe an entire outline maybe just on the inside but I like it exactly as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK click away and they'll be able to see this nice beautiful and very unique style of doing a border that didn't exist in this little drop down here. So lots of extra options you can apply pretty much anytime with colors as well as borders to make your data stand out and be a little bit more communicative with your message. Don't let your momentum stop here. Check out our recommended playlist for more helpful videos to boost your skills. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.